Have you ever wanted to add a lightbox effect to your images in Framerun that look something like this, but you weren't able to do that? Well, that was no coincidence. It was not possible in Framer up until today. But in this video, I'm going to show you now how is it possible. It's actually really simple, but yeah, I'm going to walk you through step by step of, you know, how you can do something like this inside of Framer without writing a single line of code. My name is Nandi. This is Famer University, and let's get started. So up until today, if you wanted to create a lightbox effect, uh, you had to use overlays. And this is what I also told you know people when they came to me the question, hey Nandi, how can I add sort of like a lightbox effect where you know I click an image and it opens in a, sm in a larger size. And I always said, you can just use overlays, right, to do that. So all you do is you literally select your element that you wanna, you know, open, or the image that you wanna open in, in like a larger size with lightbox effect. You go to the right, click overlays, you give it a fixed overlay, and um, yeah, I'm gonna move the Z index to 10, and you just place the image within here, just with a little frame, and you have to make sure that you set the same image here. So we're gonna just get it from the CMS because this is a CMS setup right here. And basically that's it. But you're gonna see that we have a little problem with this. Indeed, the image opens in a little bit larger size. Maybe actually we can make this even larger. So something like this. So it opens, but it doesn't really have an animation. Uh, with the lightbox effect, you kind of assume that you're gonna have something smooth transition from the smaller image to the larger image. Well, in this case, it's not really like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, you still have kind of like a lightbox effect with overlays, but yeah, it's not too, um, not too perfect. Uh, you can make it a little bit better by selecting the image, uh, giving it an appear effect. So it's gonna, I don't know, bounce in or something like scale in uh, maybe a little bit better but still we are looking for that perfect lightbox effect so let me show you really quickly how it can be achieved now inside of framer so all we have to do is we have to basically select the image that we want to add the lightbox effect to it's really important that we have to select the actual image that we want to open we cannot really apply it to this component for example so if i go to the uh, right panel click effects i can't really find lightbox here so i have to go within the component and then here select the image and on the right panel effects and then you can see lightbox is now here and so this is the new property or effect that we can add to this image and then we have all sorts of different properties here for example the max width of the image so you know how large uh, it can be maximum when when it's opened uh, 800 is perfect the padding around the image um, is 20 on the default setting and then the z index is of course something that has to be high to make sure that this image that we open is going to be on you know above all other content on the website and the backdrop color is the color that we're going to see uh, behind the image and then of course we can also customize the transition here um, and that's basically it uh, this now makes our life much more easier we don't have to create overlays and mess around with that we just add this single effect to the image and now if we go back you're going to see that if i click this it opens up in a little bit larger size and you can now see what I was talking about by you know saying it is much smoother because we can actually see the the actual image scale up and you know become a little bit larger and you can see that the background also actually gets a little bit dimmed because of the background uh, backdrop color you can see the for example the images text gets a little darker basically that's it and since this is a component and now it is applied on all of these instances, which is really cool. One quick tip I'll give you though before letting you go, because I, I don't really see many people talking about this, is that you have to add the special property to your images when you're using Lightbox, because, you know, if you add a Lightbox to an image, it means that, you know, that image will be clicked and um, 
when an image is clicked, you can sometimes get this effect, what we can see right here, which happens when while clicking, we sort of move our cursor a little bit and then, you know, the light box isn't getting triggered, but we start dragging the image, which is not cool. So to prevent this, uh, I highly recommend you adding draggable style set to no to this image frame. So you can see draggable is set to no here. So it's absolutely perfect. Now we're no longer going to be able to drag this image. So if any time we click, and even if we start dragging around with that cursor and then release or click, it is just going to trigger the lightbox, which is much better. What you can also do to make this a little bit more fun is to select the image and then go to cursor, web cursor, and select the cursor that has this little magnifying glass and um, like a plus button, meaning that you kind of zoom in. Um, so this just indicates that, okay, when you click this little image, it will kind of zoom in or, you know, make it a little bit larger. But yeah, basically that's it. These are the two quick tips for you to make sure that your live box is working properly. And yeah, uh, that's it. Make sure to leave a comment if you didn't understand something or got stuck somewhere. I'm going to make sure to do my best to answer you guys. Yeah, also check out Famer.University to get useful components and free resources for Framer that you can use for completely free on both commercial and personal projects. And yeah, that's what is this video. Make sure to like it, subscribe for more, and I'm going to see you in the next one.